Frank Winters uh, is, comes from a town called Wom. Wom happens to be a town where I was born and raised for about 15 years. Frank Winters was also a senior in school, uh, GBHS Wom. So, but the last part was not necessary. That last scene, and I've seen some people made it, but to me, that's my personal, personal opinion about the movie. Okay, after watching the last scene where that was shot somewhere, that really was not in the same context with the whole film. That last part where Ika had made it and was graduating from one let's take in university or something. I was making a speech. That last scene, you know what I'm talking about? You watch the movie, it was not worth it to me. Well, I've just ended with writing. Ika became that, 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 that. Poof. And that would have been a great film. Oh, we were... Greetings, people. Salut, salut. How would day? <laughs> Welcome back to another video on this channel. If this is your first time here, you're very much welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for clicking again. And in this video, we'll be reacting to a Camonian movie. It's not the first. There's a second Camonian movie to go on Netflix, okay? The first was Therapy, and today we're talking about The Fisherman's Diary. Produced by legendary award-winning actor, Cameroonian award-winning actor and producer Ken Quintus, directed by Anna John Scott, starring superstar or potential uprising actresses like Faith Fidel, Goddess Fongwa, Laura Onyama. Is that the name? Is that how we pronounce it? Yeah, Laura Onyama. Yeah, so those great actors and a veteran actor around Sinoa also was in the movie and it's a great movie ever since I watched the trailer like uh, that was six months ago uh, and there was also the campaign to get the movie on Netflix so uh, individuals were uh, invited like to try and to make uh, Fisherman Diary tag the Fisherman Diary and tag Netflix and tag get the movie on Netflix and stuff like that uh, it was a campaign online campaign to make the movie get on Netflix, but I believe that there was more work that had already been done and that was being done alongside that before that movie finally got to Netflix because only the production quality is awesome, the color grading, the sound, everything, location, the side of shooting and the costumes, awesome, okay? So there's a lot of work that must have been put into this movie and it was a great movie, the story. Okay, because the movie, basically, Fisherman Diary, is talking about, uh, is inspired by a Nobel Peace Prize winner, Malala Yousafzai. She's Pakistani, okay? So this movie was inspired by her and it talks about a young girl, Faith Fidel, Ika, okay? who defies the expectations of her father and the entire village to pursue an education. Uh, in the storyline, it's a community of fishermen and people do business around fishing and all that. And they, they don't believe that education is, has value, especially for the girl child. Okay? So, this film was inspired by this Pakistani lady, Malala, who also was terror was threatened and also shot in the head by some gangs in pakistan who were not for girl child education of the girl child so she she was like uh, an activist uh, who she was an advocate for girl child education so amazing story amazing actor can windows himself um, like i said great movie okay therapy I watched it as well. It was a good movie. The story, I didn't really like it. I really didn't enjoy it that much. But the angles of the shots, the location of the shooting, the lighting, and also production in general was great. I just had some a couple of actors who I admired much in, in, in therapy, like the therapist, where she's Nigerian. And also there's this, uh, the, there's a Madame Inspector who, if you watch the movie, if you watch therapy, who RMD course towards the end and she turns up to help resolve the issue in their marriage so that was it for therapy let's talk about fisherman's eye more what about uh it was shot in Cameroon in Edinau. that's where the movie was shot and uh, the main language in this movie is speaking english 
Pidgin English and there is some part where they speak dialect, a dialect, Aram, the Aram dialect uh, in the Northwest region of Cameroon, the Menchum, Menchum uh, division, the womb subdivision, yeah. So, amazing movie, purely, typically, totally and completely original, okay? And uh, it's a good thing because this is a breakthrough in the Cambodian film uh, industry. For your movie to get uh, acquired by Netflix, it comes a lot with, uh, with credibility, it comes with a lot of hard work, it comes with a lot of appreciation, and it comes with a lot of financial uh, growth too because it's money, it's, it's money that we're talking about that's being made here, okay? So if you've been listening to interviews, Kang Pintos have been very positive about the growth in the Cambodian movie industry and I've been saying that the time will come for Cambodian movie actors and producers will be able to write Bentleys and big houses, okay? Like, <laughs> I believe what's happening in Ghana and Nigeria. So it's, it's a good deal for Cambodian. If you want to watch a movie, go to that platform. Netflix is a platform where movies are placed for you to be able to watch. They're well arranged. You can easily access them, download them on your Wi-Fi and watch them at home. If you're not having Wi-Fi at home, if you're having Wi-Fi, you can stream it all the time at home on TV, tablet, or smartphone. Okay. Uh, so go there, you subscribe and watch it, and uh, it will be a good thing. The, 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 the traffic is already pretty good. I, I think it was trending in America already. Uh, picture, a snap screen, a screenshot. Uh, can get into shared. It was kind of trending in the US, and that's a good sign. When Netflix knows that Cambodians can provide great content that will cause traffic to their website, uh, cause people to register for Netflix accounts, services, they will definitely be producing more Cambodian movies if the Cambodian producers and actors keep their game top notch, like what we've seen in Therapy and now The Fisherman's Diary. Awesome movies, so go watch it. Uh, like I said, Faith Fidel, awesome actress, who were able to trans meet a lot of emotions there's a villain lucas the brother to solomon who's can quintus gave him bad ideas to sell his daughter out for teenage marriage because he was owen sule who was one he was owing one guy sule and he couldn't pay off the debt so he had to propose an idea of marrying off his her, his niece without even the knowledge of the father that he was almost like selling his daughter okay horrible horrible thing teenage marriage and no to get her uh, education those are the things that were outlined in this movie and there's one key phrase that says one child one teacher one book one pen can change the world something like that also uh, it was a great movie you should go watch it go watch it go watch it uh uh Laura Onyama was uh, Kang Quintus' uh, love interest, and uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, this is a great, some great story, and this is a breakthrough in the Cambodian movie industry. A film featuring Matrix is a big deal. It comes with a lot of financial success as well. Okay, this film, great expectations. I, I like the movie, I like the story, I like the production. I like the fact that Cambodian music from Fish to uh, Belvia to Blaze B, who produced a huge, I don't think, 14 track album for the movie. A lot of Cambodian movies. Ahu! This is movies that you hear sing onto some of them play completely. Uh, Mr. Leo, Salatia, some of them play completely throughout the movie. And I found that really interesting. That's putting Cameroon on the map, okay? This one is a big deal, like putting the country on the map. A lot of great things have been happening for Cameroon. Uh, people or artists or different athletes representing in their domains like uh, we had Francis Ngano who became the UFC heavyweight champion okay from the first uh, the first time a Cameroonian is, is holding that title okay an African general okay so good things have been happening Cameroonian have been presenting therapy was a good movie I really didn't enjoy the story but I enjoyed the shooting and Fisherman's Diary, on this other hand, was an awesome movie. Uh, the local language I could relate to, even go right, right to the dialect that they use in the movie, that's uh, typical of Agum, the Agum dialect in Wum, I could relate to. And uh, being Pigeon English, English, it was awesome, like, and 
the the side of the, that movie was shot. I think that's it now. In, it represented really an amazing story. Fit Fidel was an amazing character. Lucas was a villain. It was a great movie, guys. I have to tell you to go watch it. You will go be proud of Cameroon. If you're not Cameroonian, if you're African, if you're not African and you're watching this channel, go on Netflix and watch it for some time. Cameroon is on the map we are representing, boys. Okay, I had to talk about this. I had to react to this. Until you come your way again, stay safe. Take care. Be patriotic and nice. Over and out.